Hey, what's going on guys? Sorry it's been a minute, uh, just finally getting everything worked out, but got some fantastic news as you can probably tell from the title of this video. We finally got a garage. I mean, this is after like months of looking online. You could like rent people's garages out. Um, you could, I was looking at like storage units, maybe like I could work out of one and I checked so many. They're either too expensive for like little 10 by 10s or I found one and the guy was like, yeah, people try to work on their cars here. And I was like, oh yeah, that's crazy, man. So I guess storage units are out of the picture. So, and I finally was like, you know what? I found one, there was one across the street from me. And I was like, dude, this is perfect. I can park right next to it, work out of it if I need to. It's a perfect situation. I literally can walk to it. So it's like right there. It's like not even 20, 30 yards from my like window. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna go show you guys real quick, so check this out. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna park the truck right here and then, you know, we'll just work out of the garage, which this is pretty dope, check it out. Yeah, so I got a little 0.5 action on the camera, but this is, uh, this is about it. So not too bad, um, it works. We got electricity over here, we got some, some power over there, so. I'm pretty excited about that, but this is uh, this is gonna be it. I finally just kind of bit the bullet. I was like, if I'm gonna make content, I'm gonna have to just find something, you know? And this was what I had to do, but I'm willing to do it because I need space to work in. This is the only thing I can get as a garage to work in that's closest to me. It's literally across the street, which is great. So, but uh, yeah, I'm actually about to load my tools in right now, um, get them all set up back here, and then, uh, Hopefully do some projects this weekend. It's, a, it's an 11 by 20 is what the woman at the front office said. So we can actually pull Sierra up in here a little bit and kind of work out of it. Cause I'll have probably like my toolbox and stuff back here. And hopefully I might get like a little workbench right there. The main back wall is going to be like my, where everything goes like storage or whatever. And then, yeah, we can pull her in if we need to. So, cause I mean, you know, right there is, you know, everybody drives by there. So I don't want to have like half of her body sticking out, like kind of like how we did it at the old garage. But. Yeah, this is it. Um, I'm excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my tools in here and then uh, I can kind of update you a little bit on how we're gonna have the layout in here. All right, y'all. So we were finally unloaded. Uh, it was a pain getting this thing out by myself. I was trying to like angle it like off the, off the um, tailgate here. And it comes apart right here, so it started like bending back. I was like, okay, well, I'll just get the foot down first, but then it kept sliding. I kept going. Just wrestled with it right here for like probably a good 10 minutes. But we got it. Um, and then I've discovered that when I had to get into it, I had to use my tools a couple times while I was here. Uh, when I pulled these four and it was laying down, there's a weird like section like back behind here, and everything fell back there. So I think I gotta take this thing off right here, but uh, yeah, we'll close because they're back there. Same with this guy. <laughs> so, oh, and before I go, I wanted to talk about the lighting. So obviously that is not gonna be sufficient. It's just a halogen bulb. So I was talking to my dad and we were saying, uh, there's like some LED strips you can get that are like $15 on Amazon and you just plug in. So I was thinking about getting a couple strips to just put across the top over there. Maybe like one back here, so I could have pretty good light. So um, that's what I'm thinking about doing. Yeah, that'll do something. You know, it does this, but it's kind of sucky. You know, it's like, yeah, it's not much. So, but that's the plan to get more light in here because I'll definitely be in here late nights on the weekends. Do you have any other ideas about better lighting in here than that? Then let me know in the comments. But uh, yeah, that's the idea. All right, let's talk about getting past 500 subscribers. Um, I would say it's been, this December will be two years uh, that I started this channel. And yeah, I was still like middle of college. And you know, I'm just a regular guy who likes to work on his truck whenever I can and you know, make it different and unique. Uh, my phone is sliding. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm another guy who like y'all who likes to work on their truck whenever I can and um, I just, you know, I kind of got inspired by some YouTubers. Like I got inspired from uh, LMFS crew. I think that's how it is, right? Um, and then also the Lone Star Hawaiian. Those two guys were my biggest kind of like motivation to just take a step. Like I started following Lone Star Hawaiian whenever he had like less than 10,000 subscribers. And now he's like a hundred plus, like a hundred thousand plus. Um, so, I mean, you know, I was like, might as well just start. So 
that's kind of what I've been doing. But um, yeah, I'm I'm insanely grateful. I mean, look at this, y'all. Like that's crazy. And a couple years of posting, like every like you know, few months, <laughs> you know. But we finally hit 500. Um, I know this is like very weird and obvious, but I mean that's halfway to a thousand. And I'm excited. I don't know what to I'm gonna put this seat down, son. That's as far as I go. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to expect whenever a thousand comes. But I mean, now that I've graduated, I got a job. I got this garage going on over here. Um, I'm super, super excited to just finally be able to like do things. Like I have packages here right now. They've been sitting waiting for me to open them and, and you know install them on the truck. So look forward to that here soon. Uh, sorry this isn't, you know, like a truck video, but it's a step in, in the forward direction. Again, seriously, thank every single one of you for sticking around. We're only at 500. It's not like I just hit 50,000, 1,000, a million, uh, you know. The thing is about when it comes time to get to those, it's like you got to remember those who were there before all that. You know, it's like you guys are people. You're not just like subscribers. Like you have your own lives and stuff. So yeah, I appreciate y'all for sticking around with me and, and being patient. I know it's been rough. <laughs> I've been trying to get everything sorted out, but we finally have a working space. Expect something really soon, because now that I have that space this weekend, project. Not I'm, I'm jumping on it. So thank you guys so much for sticking around with me uh, all this time. All right, blessings, guys. See you the next time.